technology is the way of the future, Andy. You've got to get plugged in and online. Online, Willa? I don't know what you mean. A computerized pocket planner like this will free you from keeping those newspaper clippings in your knitting bag. I have my whole office inside this piece of technology that fits into my pocket. I like my knitting bag. Can you receive and send emails with your knitting bag? Can you search the internet? What possible advantage can your knitting bag have? I can use it for knitting if I like. Three days at this technology fair and spending time with your friend Yohiro. His name is Yushio. Uh, Yushio Miyaki. I'm treating you to this vacation as an eye opener, Auntie. Welcome to the 21st century. Take this escalator. It was made especially for this event. No breakable parts and no vibration. It's electromagnetic. It's the escalator to the future. Escalator to agony would be more like it. Uh, let us take the elevator, shall we? Good idea. There are always a few bugs to be ironed out with technological breakthroughs. <gasps> I have come to locate you, Marjorie Ballard and Willard Wigeon. My stars. A robot that speaks and knows us by name. It is a privilege to meet the world-famous detective. You must be Yushio's robot, the one he wrote me about. Indeed, I am. My name is Kwong. I came to find you both to escort you to the fair. But first, allow me to carry your luggage to your hotel room. Marjorie, Inspector Wijan, this is Seshi Spoonbill, owner of Mishma Automobile Company, and Mio Teal, representative of the Auto Workers Union. Good day. Pleased to meet you. My pleasure. The great detective. I would be honored if you would sit in on a pre-demonstration of Kwong. Now, Kwong has all basic robotic functions that one wants a robot to perform. Kwong can sweep, dust, work as personal valet... Not only can Kwong repair high-tech machinery like computers, he even repair himself. This with just his normal chip. But Kwong also has a supercomputer chip for advanced function and extremely fast and efficient processing of components. Kwong's innovative superchip operates on radio waves. A robot like that would be great in the home and for giving workers more free time. To the contrary. A robot like Kwong could replace hundreds of worker ducks, more efficient and less expensive, which would increase profits. That's ridiculous. That would put ducks out of work. Only if they were less efficient than Kwong. In you go, Kwong. Prepare for standby mode. Kwong's official presentation will be with some other inventors in a little while. I am here to look for technological innovations for the automobile industry. And, as a union representative, I am here to stop you from putting ducks out of work. If you'll excuse me for a few moments, there's a company called Gizmo Incorporated at this technology fair that supplies crime fighters like myself with technological tools. Technological tools? Yes, Auntie. Today's modern detective wants to stay on top of the latest advantages science has to offer. Make way for progress is what I say. Look, I got my detective supplies like this pen. When I push the top, it releases sneezing powder. And this watch releases a catapult fungi anchor. And in my hat, I have a parachute installed. You never know what'll come in handy. You should gear yourself up, Auntie. Criminals are more sophisticated than ever. I've managed just fine so far, Willard. Uh, thank you, just the same. Uh, Myron, stop! Uh, Marjorie, I'd like you to meet a colleague of mine. Myron, I'd like you to meet Miss Marjorie Mallard and Inspector Willard Widgeon. Oh, the famous detective. Pleased to meet you. You're enjoying the technology show? Oh, yes, thanks. It's fascinating. 
So, we'll get cleaned up and meet for lunch. Help! Marjorie! Inspector Widgeon! I've been robbed! Oh, my! Willard, call the Tokyo police on your cellular phone. Right, Auntie. Good thinking. That is part of my research presentation. Why would someone do this? Telephone is damaged, but there is nothing missing. You are very lucky your laptop computer was not stolen. Very lucky. All my plans are in my computer. Encrypted, of course. But the most lucky of all is that this key was not stolen. It is the extra key to Kwong's glass case. If someone had taken it, they could have stolen Kwong himself. Rest assured, we will be checking the video monitor from the hallway, which mm -hmm. should produce an image of who broke into your room. Please let us know as soon as you've managed to view the hotel video footage. More research would let me know how Kwong could best be used in society. If he puts ducks out of work, that's not good. It must be very expensive to produce a robot. Yes, in order to continue my research, I will need a rich benefactor like Sashi Spoonbill, or at the very least, to win the grand prize at this technological show. The prize is a lot of money. Thank you for lunch, Inspector Widgeon. Yes, thank you, Willard. A company credit card, courtesy of the Swiss police force. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> you may want to be more careful with your gizmos, Willard. Marjorie, Inspector Widgeon, Mio, Seishi, this is Robert Greenfeathers, another inventor in the field of robotics from New York. And this is the brilliant inventor, Etsko Hadzuskota. She's chairperson of the technological fair. And where's Myron? Ah, and you met Myron Scarp earlier. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Now, as I have told some of you, but not my colleagues yet, for competitive reasons, the invention of Kwong, the supercomputer robot, heralds a new era in robotics. Kwong! Kwong! Stop! Kwong! What's the matter? Tell me! No! Come back! Kwong! Hold all activity! There's something terribly wrong! Kwong! Kwong! Again? This was your robot? Yes, but there's something wrong with Kwong. Evidently. We'll send a helicopter to capture Kwong. For a robot, he's certainly causing a lot of trouble. Don't hurt him. He's really very gentle. He is just malfunctioning. Just before I heard all the commotion, I was reviewing the hotel security video footage. There's something I think you should see. All right. Video footage of just before the crime ensued. But poof! The image turns to static. This occurred just after the new escalator malfunctioned. And the security guard, who is usually watching the security cameras, never saw this. Because he went to make sure no one was hurt on the broken escalator. Do you think the culprit sabotaged the electromagnetic escalator, distorted the video camera, and broke into Yushio's room? If so, he would have sabotaged the escalator from the basement, where there are no security cameras. Everything about this case is highly irregular. Huh? We'll be right over. Your robot has broken into a laboratory on the other side of the city. You can all come along. It would be an honor to have Miss Mallard investigating with me. Kwong's been here all right. This is the laboratory of an inventor named Robert Greenfeathers. He called the police. Robert was at my robot demonstration today. He is also in the robot competition. It was his robot, Kwong. It broke into my laboratory. 
I could have been seriously injured. Kwong would not hurt anyone. It seems Kwong is a beast that will destroy anything in its path. Inspector Ida, it is impossible. Kwong's chip is so advanced he would never intentionally harm anyone unless someone tampered with it. We will do what we can, Mr. Miyagi, to keep Tokyo safe, even if it means destroying your robot. If Kwong is destroyed, my career will be ruined. All those years of research wasted, and he's like a son. The newspaper says that Kwong is violent and destroying everything in his path. All citizens of Tokyo are terrified. Something happened to Kwong. He can still function, but it is like he's been damaged. Seishi, this is precisely why advancing a powerful robot should not do the jobs of a factory workers. To the contrary. Such a robot used in an industrial capacity would be worth its weight in gold. But if a robot like Kwong went out of control in the factory, it could destroy everything. We would have a worker duck on hand to supervise the robots. Robots are the future, Mio. Hmm? Yes, Inspector Widgeon here. Yes, Inspector Ryder. We're on our way. Kwong's been sighted. Come on, there's a police car in front of the hotel waiting for us. What? Oh, no! My work! Help! Run for your lives! No! Help! He's after me! You show me Aki's robot! This robot is dangerous, Inspector. He must have been programmed to attack me and my colleague Robert Greenfeathers to destroy our work. But why? A fellow inventor might want to get rid of the competition. Right, Yushio? That's absurd! Inspector, hmm. he is slandering me. Well, who else could have programmed this robot? Get the helicopter in position! Good work, Inspector. It's over, Yushio. Your attempt to destroy other inventors' work failed. Don't break it, Kwong. Go peacefully. Run, run, run. <laughs> Yushio Miyaki, you are under arrest on suspicion of directing all these crimes. You've got to help me. I didn't do this. Mm -hmm. Yushio won't win the competition if his robot's destroying the city, as well as the work of his competitors. I'm afraid that the next time we talk to him, it's going to be in emails to his prison. What did you just say, Willard? Never mind, I heard you loud and clear. From what you have told me about emails, since nothing was stolen from Yushio's hotel room, wouldn't it be possible that the thief sent what he stole in an email? Hey, yeah! Auntie, that is possible. The thief could have sent stolen data. Can we just shoo up his computer and see if there's a record of it? It's boot up the computer, Auntie. Not shoo up. Stop the robots! Stop the robots! Stop the robots! What's this all about? We want to shut down all the robot research. Robots are not safe, and they will steal our jobs. Auntie, you were right. An email was sent at 10.27 this morning, just a few minutes after the escalator ground to a halt. Can you see who it was sent to? The email and an encrypted file were sent to the University of Tokyo. Then in that case, Willard, perhaps you could go to the library at the University of Tokyo and see if anyone downgraded the email. Downgraded? Oh! Oh, you mean downloaded to make a copy of it. And I'll be going to see Inspector Ida to get Yushio out of jail. Inspector Ida, you must let Yushio Miyaki out of jail. He is innocent. Innocent men do not have robots break them out of jail. Oh, dear. Uh, but would you believe Kwong broke Yushio out of jail because he's programmed to save himself from danger? No, I would not believe that. Then if you will accompany me, I will prove it. Ah, Willard, uh, 
Did you find out anything? Auntie, that email had an attachment. Blueprints to build a robot. But anyone could have downloaded it. However, I did find out that Etsuko Hatsuskoda received a fellowship here. Mio Teal got her law degree here. Seshi Spoonbill is one of the largest contributors to the engineering faculty. And Yushio used to teach computer science here. Good work, Willard. Now, I want you to meet Inspector Ider and myself at 4375 Montessori Avenue. Yes, Auntie. See you there. You think Yushio will show up at this address? I believe he will. And Mio and Seshi... They will be brought here by my corporals. I am told that Robert Greenfeathers and Myron Scott are already at the location. Good. All is going according to plan. What is the meaning of this? Why have we been brought here? It was Miss Mallard's idea. I hope you will join us inside. You told me to expect a few visitors, Miss Mallard, but so many... What is this about? All will be revealed in due time. I've been told that Yushio had his robot break him out of jail. He'll apparently stop at nothing. After his robot sabotaged my work and Myron's, destroying my work completely. Perhaps I am to be next. Uh, that's probably Inspector Widget. You'll never guess who I ran into. You are under arrest, Yushio Miyaki. You're finished, Yushio. And we'll be suing you for damages. Quiet, everyone. Please, I can explain everything. Let me tell you why you have all been gathered here this evening. I thought we had gathered to trap Yushio's robot. Well, yes and no. Like yourself, I anticipated that you were the next on the list to be attacked by Quan. But let's run through the case. Two of us here have very strong motives to sabotage and or steal Kwong. My O'Teal would like to see all robots stopped, and Seshi wants such a robot at any price. But I wouldn't commit a crime. And I could buy any robot I want. I agree. In fact, this whole case made no sense until someone else attempted to resolve the situation. Who, Auntie? Kwong. <gasps> We never suspected the real reason why Kwong malfunctioned. Kwong has two chips, one simple one and one very complex. He could still function with only one chip, but who could have suspected he was acting this way because his super chip had been stolen? Others did know Kwong's super chip was stolen, but they didn't know that Kwong was programmed with a self-repair ability and a very strong drive for self-preservation. And that the supercomputer chip was equipped with radio wave technology so that wherever his supercomputer chip went, Kwong was sure to follow. That's ridiculous. Kwong could also be attacking to destroy our work because Yushio programmed him to. Possibly, but you see, when Yushio's hotel room was broken into, nothing was physically stolen. However, an impression of the extra key to Kwong's glass case was made by someone who uses a cane. You see, a paper had been inadvertently brought into the corridor, and the hole in its center was made by a cane, just like Robert Greenfeathers. Robert Greenfeathers was also associating with Myron Scott, who had a hat when I met him this morning, but who an hour later wasn't wearing it. And then his hat turns up at Robert Greenfeathers on the counter. When Kwong broke in, Robert escaped and brought the chip to Myron. Kwong picked up the radio waves and then went to Myron's. Kwong was then scared off by the police. Well, then, why don't you have these two half-witted inventors arrested? Because you, Miss Hatsuskota, are the brains of the outfit. You have the robot design sent to the university to a public email account. And according to this newspaper clipping, you invented the electromagnetic escalator that was used to distract the security guard. And it's your own company that manufactures the spray used to sabotage the video camera outside Yushio's hotel room. You've done your homework, Miss Mallard. But you're forgetting one very important thing. 
Why did we do all this? Because you're building your own robot using Yushio's designs. You mean improving Yushio's designs? I made a better supercomputer chip and a better robot. Everyone, meet the Impactor, the most powerful robot ever built. Once again, new technology triumphs over this outdated chip. And with the Impactor, I will take over all of Japan. But Tokyo will do for now. Just in time for the show. Get him, Impactor. Getting Kwangi's super chip back won't help. He'll be ready for the scrap yard in about ten seconds. Thank you, Miss Mallard, for solving this mystery. You are under arrest, Hatuskata. You and your accomplices. You will be national heroes. Everyone will tell the story of how you saved Tokyo. How exciting. I have decided that at my car plant, robots like Kwong will be in charge of keeping workers safe. That is an excellent idea. I guess technology and automation are good if they help that kind. But we should all be more careful about trusting technology. Well spoken, Willard. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my.